In this video, we are going to be showing you what the 2022 Toyota Tundra sounds like with an intake system and a full catback system from inside the cab. So if you're interested in what that's gonna sound like, be sure to watch the entire video and subscribe to the channel if you do like the video. So this is our 2022 Toyota Tundra in the Sonic Red. It's sitting on 37 inch tires. It has a dirt box overland camper and canopy setup with an intrepid tent on top. But let's take a look at what's under the engine bay and underneath before we get inside the vehicle. So what we are seeing right here is the k and dual cold air intake. It has the shield to kind of protect it from the heat that goes on in the engine bay itself. So it kind of makes it as cool as possible on each side of the intake system. So we have one over here that's covered up as well because this is a twin turbo setup. So there's gonna be two intakes. One of the reasons why I chose the k and exposed colder intake is because you're able to hear the turbo line up a little bit more just because this is exposed, it's not contained in one of the plastic or aluminum boxes. So if you want to hear more out of your intake system from the turbo, be sure to get the one with the exposed filters. Now let's take a look at the exhaust system underneath. So right there is the tailpipe. So it dumps right before the axle. So this is a high clearance exhaust system, full catback exhaust system. So if you want something that is high clearance for wheeling and trails, this is gonna be it. This is actually ours. This is the R4T full catback exhaust system. It goes all the way right over there. It's kind of hard to see in the video, but it comes right after the cats. Comes back here as the muffler and then dumps off right here. So the way we make this is all TIG weld, um, we use V-bands, so very high quality stuff. It's a high quality stainless steel as well compared to what we have on the third gen Tacoma and Forerunner just because we wanted to go a little bit more premium on these newer Toyotas. So that's what we have going on. Now let's get in the vehicle and see what it sounds like. So first what we're going to do is we're going to just drive it normally in standard mode, normal mode, and then flip it over to sport. Let's see what it sounds like. Let's get in gear. I have my mic right here on the uh, seat belt. So hopefully it picks up kind of the ambient noise that you normally would hear in the truck with our actual ears. So starting to roll now. Now, what I just did there was just a normal cruise going from, you know, about 1200 RPM to 3000 RPM, which is kind of where I like to be, which is driving around normally. Now I'm going to give it just a little bit more gas and see if I can get it to um, be a little bit louder, try to be around 4000 to 5000 RPM. Here we go. So I got up there to right before 5,000 RPM. So I was trying to stay between the 4,000 and 5,000 RPM. So hopefully this mic was able to pick up all that in here. And you probably won't hear the intake too much because I'm on it. The intake noise is a little more noticeable at lower RPM. So let's get this into sport mode. Okay, now we're just gonna, I'm gonna see if I can show the intake noise. So 
so it's very it's very faint but in the actual truck itself you can hear it pretty pretty well and i actually like being able to hear the turbo kind of spin up a little bit because i'm just I'm, I'm a car guy so i like being able to hear the engine noise the exhaust noise and everything like that so if you enjoy that this is definitely going to be something you want just to make your drive a little bit more fun just because that's kind of part of the reason why we bought these trucks in the first place now now that hopefully the mic picked up the intake noise still in sports mode we're going to see if we can just do the same thing and go to four or five thousand rpm so let's let's do it So I got up to 60 miles per hour, went over 5,000 RPM just a little bit, but I don't know if it's just me, but I, I think in sport mode you can hear it just a little bit louder, but it could just be like one of those things because uh, you feel like you did a little bit more, so you, you expect a little more, so your mind thinks that you're actually doing a little, something else with it. but. That's kind of that's kind of it. I, I really just wanted to show and a lot of people on Instagram were like, we need some clips of the, the tundra and and the intake and all that stuff. And I posted a post on the intake a while ago. I had the mic under the engine and it sounds amazing. And obviously it's not as loud in the vehicle but it's, it's super noticeable so that's kind of why I wanted to do this video. So that's pretty much all we have for this video, but we will have more performance type videos on this Tundra. We're going to do a couple racing videos on this road as well. So that's going to be a little bit more interesting than this one, but I really just made this video for those who were interested in what it sounds like with the intake and full catback exhaust system on this setup. So we will have the link to the intake down in the description if you wanted to check that out and install it for your own Tundra. The exhaust system, however, is not available yet as of this post uh, date, but we will have that available pretty soon just because I really like the way it sounds. Even though it's just a V6, it sounds like a V8 almost because it has that rumble and it sounds really good with the intake system. So be on the lookout for when we drop that. Just sign up for our newsletter on our website. Let us know that you have a Tundra so that way we only send you Tundra stuff. But if you haven't already, subscribe to our channel and let us know what you want to see. We really want to just make videos that you guys are actually want to watch. So let us know what you want to see. But that's going to be it for this video and we'll see you guys next time.